Here, let me fix that. Ah, perfect. I found Senkaro, like I assume so many others did, through a demo should you watch, and upon finishing the 25 minute short, my thought was, this is pretty good, and then I kind of forgot it even existed. It's not like it's bad or anything, but it's just so short and so few people ever mention it, that I was shocked when I found out that Senko Roll 2 came out, especially considering that at the time of Demo's video, he said, All in all, the film has great timing and concludes with a really neat plot device that will certainly set the stage for some creative moments in the coming sequel that is supposedly going to be finished sometime later this year. And that was in 2014. The first thing you need to know about the sequel is that the first 25 minutes are just Senko Roll 1 again. I'm not being hyperbolic when I say that, it's literally shot for shot, the exact same film for the first 25 minutes. You don't have to watch Senko Row 1 before watching this film. I would actually advise against it. This is probably why the film marketed itself as Senko Row Connect instead of Senko Row 2. Does that mean that this film is worse by any means? No, but it sure is a weird choice to release it that way. I guess once they finish the sequel, they just figure that since the first one was so short anyway, if they just add that on at the beginning, they can market it as a movie instead of another short film. But if you are one of the people that have become a fan of the original during this decade between the film's release, then this might come across as disappointing. This is especially true considering how good the new content is. The screen time for Second Roll 2 is almost double the length of the original short, meaning that you get much more time to care about the new characters and their circumstances, more time to see how these new characters interact with the old ones we already care about, and more time to develop intriguing but underutilized elements of the first short. Answers to questions like, who even are the bad guys get answered, while still leading the viewer to want to know more information, which will hopefully be answered in the announced third film. Honestly, anything else I would want to say about Senkuro 2 can be said about the first film, which was summed up perfectly in that demo video. If you're still not sure whether or not I like this film, guess what? 8 out of 10. This video is the 19th in the series of daily uploads where I review some movies I missed over the last decade in the hopes of making the ultimate anime of the decade list. If you have any suggestions for any anime, film or TV, released from 2011 to 2020, please tell me in the comments. I want to find out about it now as opposed to after I make the big ass video. Also I'm going to say some cringy set out shit. And tomorrow's film is Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution if you want to watch it in advance. See you then.